Civil affairs teams are not combat forces by their construct. And the purpose is to restore civilian agencies and infrastructure, and that's what the biggest part of Majors of Aboda's mission was. Within the first two weeks of my deployment, I'm engaged in a major firefight. Uh, I wasn't exactly planning on uh, the tour being so rough. Uh, we were ambushed by the Taliban, um, approximate force of about 75 to 100 Taliban. And I happened to have the uh, battalion medic on board with me. Um, I got the call that there was a, a wounded U.S. soldier down in the valley where the ambush occurred. So I, as the driver and uh, my team sergeant, uh, Sergeant First Class Quisenberry, we raced forward to the uh, site and uh, provided uh, medical support and uh, covering fire as our folks were uh, taken care of and extracted. And his ability to command the troops under his uh, direction in combat is something that distinguishes him and his service in Afghanistan from a lot of other people. Well, the motivation comes from experience and training. Um, primarily, you know, the guy to the left and righty is who you're there uh, fighting with and for. So when a situation like that happens, um, you don't think about the uh, national implications or the security strategy of the United States. You're thinking about your buddies down there that need your help. Well, Major Zavoda's uh, performance in the conduct of his combat operations is, is fairly significant. As a civil affairs team leader, he's responsible for rebuilding things, not primarily as a combat a soldier. While he was there, his team was able to establish a medical clinic uh, in conjunction with the other U.S. forces on the ground. That clinic was pretty significant because it was the first medical facility in this province, and it treated in the time that he was there over 5,000 civilians, which is a pretty significant number given the remoteness of the population. The satisfaction that you get that hopefully you're improving their life in some small way is what really makes it all worthwhile. This medical clinic that Majors of Abode and his team uh, established goes right to the heart of what I think the Red Cross mission truly is, and that's to help those in need with resources and support to end their suffering as much as can be done.